Hello everyone, Andy Weisinger coming to you here from the beautiful Eaglewood Golf Course on Langley Air Force Base. Today we're going to talk about penalty areas. If you remember, the old rules of golf would define hazards as lateral or direct hazards. Well, those terms were changed to penalty areas. Penalty areas are now both yellow penalty areas and red penalty areas. They're largely treated the same way with mostly the same options. There's one additional option for red penalty areas, which we'll get to in just a little while. One of the best additions to the rules of golf in 2019 was what we get to do inside the penalty area. We get to ground our club, take practice, do what we need to do to figure out how we're going to play that shot doesn't cost us any strokes. The old rules in a hazard, you could not ground your club, you could not take practice swings. In the penalty areas, we can do all of that, we just have to be careful not to move the ball. So if you're gonna take a practice swing, do it far enough away from your ball to where the adjoining grass isn't gonna cause your ball to move, then when you're ready, you're gonna know how to step up and hit that shot. From a penalty area, when it comes to taking relief, our option number one is stroke and distance. Maybe we found our ball and we've decided that it's not a good idea to play from here, or you can't play from here, or maybe you didn't find it, but you know or are virtually certain that the ball went into the penalty area and you have the agreement of the folks you're playing with, you can take relief. So stroke and distance relief means you count the stroke then you sacrifice the distance and go back to where that ball was originally played from and either drop or re-tee the ball is now in play. So you count the one, take the penalty of the two, and now you're hitting three. That's option number one. Our second option for relief, if you find your ball in a penalty area, is back on the line relief. This is an option for both yellow and red penalty areas. So back on the line relief, if I do not want to hit this ball, I can go to the point that the ball crossed into the penalty area, keeping this cross right here, this is my reference point, keeping this in line with the hole, I can go back on that line as far as I want. Once I select the spot I want to play from, I put a T in the ground, I use my club to measure an arc at that point, one club length, no closer to the hole, and I can drop anywhere in that area. Take your drop, play away. That does cost you one stroke. When dealing with a red penalty area, we have a third option when it comes to taking relief. This is what is known as lateral relief. We take that reference point from where the ball crossed into the penalty area, and we can take two club lengths from this point of relief. So if I were to take relief from the penalty area, I would place a tee in the ground right there. Now I get two club lengths from this point, and I can drop my ball anywhere in this two club length arc, and now my ball is in play. That also cost me one stroke. There you have it, penalty areas. You have options, you don't have to be the hero, you don't have to go into an area and play a shot that's virtually impossible. You have options, know your options, and that will help you to avoid the big number. Knowing the rules, will give you options. Choosing the best option will help you manage your game. Avoiding the big numbers will help you score better. Knowing the rules helps you score better. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below. Click that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll be sure to make more videos for you. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.